I do want to share what the Wow Warrior Award is. The Wow Warrior Award came to be about three years ago, and it was developed to run alongside with Women's History Month. You know, my thought was that while we we tend to highlight all the trailblazers that have gone before us, but a lot of times they are deceased. It's very hard for a woman who is trying to stand up and stand out and feel powerful and, and follow a great example when they're no longer here. And so my thought was, why aren't we honoring women who are crushing it right now, who are really doing the thing to get the thing and who are standing up and standing out as that unrepeatable miracle? Uh, they know themselves, they know their worth, they're not requiring external validation for their self-worth, they know they have value in this world. And so that is actually what was sort of the, the thing that started the WOW Warrior platform to explain WOW, the word WOW actually has two meanings in my world. It originally starts within the Stop Self-Bullying movement that I have been leading, which is war on words warrior, because we are always in the fight with these words that circulate in our head, many times leading into the negative. And so we want to always focus on working to manage those words in our head because our words create our world. And as it evolved into the WOW Warrior platform, WOW, it stands for Woman of Worth. That Woman of Worth has actually managed to, most of the time, no one is perfect, but most of the time, manage that narrative up there. And they've also are secure in the knowledge that they are here to uplift and inspire other women to excel as much as they are excelling as themselves and being purpose-driven themselves. This woman that you guys are going to see, each one of them has been through a lot of challenges, heartaches, tests, temporary defeats, so much more. And it isn't that they haven't been through some stuff, as I like to say. It's been that they've been through this stuff and they've risen like the powerful warrior that they are. And this is where I always like to say, I learned this from a speaker right before this all came to be was... That she asked the audience, do you know the difference between a soldier and a warrior? And I was like, hmm, I never thought about it. But a soldier is taught to fight and a warrior is born to fight. And that's how I knew that that word was. And I had already had that word attached to wow, but it took on a bigger meeting because that language that we fight sometimes in our own head and sometimes that other people try to put on us externally is that wow warrior understands that they have a choice in what goes on up here, but they are always in that fight for their worth. They know their worth. They are not confused about it at all. They know their value and they navigate those self-bullying tendencies like a champion. The other thing that you will find about a wild warrior is that she has surrounded herself with others who will call them on it when she slips, <laughs> as we will because we are not perfect, but they have curated a network of powerful women who will say, what did you say about yourself? They will call you to the carpet for it. And they surround themselves with the strong women like you're going to see today. This is one of the reasons why I said, please connect with these women. They are far into that journey and they are able to have that hand to say, hey, wait, you know what, let's talk about this. You know, you need to know you control that narrative up here, but they'll call you on it. They'll be your best cheerleaders. Everyone in here is a cheerleader for one another. I've been watching it throughout the entire year. And as you listen to these 2024 honorees today, you're going to see a very common thread with these women. They're going to have all of these characteristics that I just talked about and always there to uplift and inspire. And they know that that's part of why they're here, that that's part of their gift as a wow warrior. So without further ado, we are going to see a short video of all of the honorees. And as I said, not all of them were able to be here today. After that, we're going to um, bring our uh, speakers up to the stage. So
another woman who absolutely shines, you know what, shines in longevity as well. I'm going to say that she might be the uh, most well-seasoned <laughs> wow warrior we have right now, meaning in years, but she is absolutely the most young at heart woman that you will meet. And I am talking about Dr. Inga Young, and her name is a little bit hard to say, but I will tell you, she is, I don't have her bio in front of me. I'm so sorry, Dr. Inga, you're gonna have to tell us because I know she is acupuncture. She does all things holistic health and she is um, the founder of the allergy kit, which is very fascinating in and of itself. She has the most incredible story. So I'm going to let uh, Dr. Inga share with you. Uh, she is part of our, 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 our globalness in WOW Warrior. So uh, Dr. Inga, if you would take it away and share, and she's absolutely stunningly beautiful as well, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she might be older than 32. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, well, I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Hello, everybody. So I am Inga Young, chemical engineer, acupuncture physician, naturopath, the creator of the allergy kit, author, and blah, blah. I arrived to the U.S. in 1990, and I have seen how health has gone down. Diabetes, heart attacks, and strokes together with weight. That has gone up. But I have a hard time to change people. I went back to school at 53 years old and graduated at 56. That is now 30 years later. In a couple of weeks, I will be 86 years old. I am not old, I'm just rich in years. I work full time and I still have all my faculties, <laughs> faculties intact. I'm not saying this to brag but to show that with a healthier lifestyle, you have a much better chance to keep healthy and sharp. My mission is to wake people up, to make them understand that Hippocrates told us the truth over 2,500 years ago. Everything starts in the gut. I don't mean that you have to go on a 100% strict diet 100% of the time. But you have to find out what is good for you and what is bad for you. We are all different. And one thing is good for some people, but the same thing can be detrimental to another. I often see wives, for example, they want, they want to change, they want to feel better, and they want their husbands to feel better. They are often more sick than the wives, if you have seen that. The thing is, they really try. They start to cook differently, but the guy, uh, uh, he wants his old crap that he doesn't feel good from. But, well, I think it's easier to teach an old dog new tricks than to change a husband. So remember, the only thing you can do is work on yourself. It's um, really the thing with a gas mask in the in the airplane as they talk about it is really true you have to start with yourself first you have to be true to yourself and treat yourself good i know for example with the allergies and stuff create the allergy can help with cravings <clears throat> and that excuse me that makes it easier <clears throat> it makes it easier to to change your I don't want to say diet. Diet has dye in it, so we don't like that, do we? But um, it is important that we change. But what can I show you? How can I show you where to go and what to do that you don't know already? I don't know. <laughs> I try, but I'm just wanting people to understand how important it is to for example, cut out the wheat and the sugar. If you do that for three months, for three months, it's not that bad. And see how you feel. If you don't feel any change, well, go back and do what you've always done. But uh, there was a, a, it was a small study, but it was in a home for elderly people. 
and they cut out the wheat and they cut down the sugar. And the people started to have less aches and pains and their memories came back. That was a big thing. And another one is I had a client who had a daughter who was in a facility for because she was schizophrenic. And it was bad. She had all these voices and couldn't get rid of them. But the mother took her out and started to cook for her. She cut out all wheat and sugar. And lo and behold, all those voices she had in her head went away. So food has a lot to do with mental and physical stuff. So now we have the newest remedy for weight loss, the Ozempic and variations. And they say that they are totally harmless. Don't believe them. It's not. It starts by destroying your gallbladder and then everything else goes downhill. And uh, you're also supposed to take it for the rest of your life. Who wants to do that? So, okay. If you want to find anything about me, you can go to dryng.com, D-R-Y-N-G-E.com or theallergykit.com. I'm going to put my information in the chat. Thank you so much, Dr. Inga. And if you haven't had a one-to-one -one with Dr. Inga, you should totally do that because she is so knowledgeable and so interesting. <laughs> you will learn so much just from having a conversation with her. And you know what? Hats off to being 86 and exceptional and beautiful and all things health and wonderful longevity. Uh, we can all take lessons from you, Dr. Inga, and learn from you. And I know she does. Please follow her because she does lots of workshops. And I've taken one with her where she's taught me all about what sugar does and all those things. She has a lot of information to share. So please do follow her and you will be able to continue to learn from her. So thank you so much, Dr. Inga. We appreciate you. And all I can say is, wow. <laughs>